Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this VFX shot using Blender. We need a video footage to work with. I downloaded this video from pixels.com. You can click the link in description to download it. First, we need to extract this character from this video. You can use Blender for rotoscoping, but this will consume a lot of time. Open your internet browser and type runwayml.com. Create a free account. Open a new project. Load your clip to the assets browser. Drag and drop the clip into the track. Select green screen. Select the character. You can deselect certain area by using the exclude tool. Export the clip. Download the clip from the Assets browser. This video is exported in 720p, so we just going to use this video as a black and white mask in the compositing. Next, we need to track the camera to match the camera movement in the video. Open Blender, select VFX. Load your video clip. Increase search size to 150. Go to Tracking Settings Extra. Increase correlation to 0.9. Change location to Affine. Enable Normalize. Click Detect Features. Reduce the threshold to 0. Deselect all track markers. Select unnecessary track markers. Delete them. Select all, track the clip forward. Click Detect Features. Deselect all track markers. Select unnecessary track markers. Delete them. Select all. Track the clip backward. Click Solve Camera Motion. Now we have the solve error value of 28.07 pixels. This is a good start for camera tracking. Click Clean Tracks. Enter 50 or above in reprojection error. Delete the track markers. Click Solve Camera Motion. Now we have the solve error value of 166.16 pixels. Don't worry sometimes this will happen. I am going to use the Clean Tracks option later. Now I am going to delete the tracks manually. Click Solve Camera Motion, now we have the solve error value of 5 pixels. Click Clean Tracks. Enter a value from 2 to 10, in the reprojection error. Delete the track markers. Click Solve Camera Motion, repeat the process, until the solve error value reduced to less than 1 pixel. Now we have the error value of 0.78. We have a good accurate camera track. Click Set as Background and Set up Tracking Scene. Let's move to next step. Delete everything in the scene except the camera. Add a plane. I align the camera to the plane manually.
I added a simple object with a sci-fi material to the scene. I added a HDRI for the background. I added a sun lamp, increased the strength to 5. Enable mist pass. Go to Compositing. Delete all nodes except the composite and the viewer. Add Render Layer, connect it. Go to Render, click Render Image. Insert a Mix node, connect the mist to Factor. Add a Movie Clip. Select the clip. Duplicate the Movie Clip select the Green Screen Video Clip. Add a keying node. Connect the movie clip to the image. Connect the mat to the viewer node. Change the color to green. Add a scale node. Change relative to render size, and insert it. Insert a color ramp, between the keying and the viewer. Move the black color. Insert a mix node here. Duplicate the scale node. Connect the movie clip to scale. Connect the scale to color 2. Connect the color ramp to factor. Now, I want to increase the contrast of the background, for that, I'm going to use a RGB curves to increase the contrast. Now I am going to desaturate the foreground clip. Add hue saturation value and reduce the saturation. I am going to render the scene in EV, so I going to enable ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections and motion blur. I am going to add feather effect to the character, for that, add a dilate erode node. Insert it. Enter a negative value from minus 1 to minus 3. Insert a blur node. Increase value to 2, in both X and Y. I'm just changing the direction of the sun lamp, to match the lighting. Now, I am going to add light wrapping effect, add a invert node. Connect the color ramp to to color. Add a blur node, connect the color to image. Insert a mix node to the movie clip. Change mix to add. Connect the image to image. Enter 50 in both X and Y. Insert a color ramp and reduce the white level. Insert a color balance node, and do color grading. I 
I added trains and scene, to give life to the background. I did some changes in the mist pass. I changed the distance value in the dilate erode node to minus 1. I moved the white color in this color ramp closer to the black. I reduced the white level in this color ramp.